Mitzi, thank you so much for your time. Sir. So you are in Paris. Um, I can see the stadium behind you where the Springboks will be in action tomorrow. But just in the build-up to this game, the Springboks were disrupted by those very sad news of Gobas Reina, which broke yesterday, and him receiving some death threats from uh, some members of the French public. Has this perhaps disrupted the team in any way? Yes, good afternoon, Taco. Live here, like you said, from the majestic um, um, Stade de France a venue that hosts about 80,000 fans. And I can tell you the preparations, uh, final preparations are being done ahead of tonight's match. And, and Taco, our fans are slowly but surely trickling in. I've seen Welsh supporters so far. I've seen a New Zealand supporters so far. I've seen Argentinian supporters, even a number of South African supporters very keen on, on, on watching and, and seeing what's about to happen, transpire here tonight at this venue. That match obviously starting at 9 p.m. tonight. But Nsako, to get back to your question, a rather serious matter. And I think the day started on a rather somber mood this morning when obviously, like you rightfully mentioned, overnight we heard the news that the Springbok scrum of the man who will be wearing the number nine jersey, receiving those death threats. And we're not exactly clear where these threats are coming from, but it seems to be it's coming from here from local French supporters, French fans um, give, um, making those threats to um, Corbus Reinach. Now, Corbus, a player who, 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 who plies his trade here at Montpellier, right here in France, is given his all to the side. but. These threats have only come after the Springbok beat Le Bleu the Spa Sunday 29-28 in that match and knocking the host nation out of their very own tournament. Now, I managed to speak to a very senior member in the Springbok squad who's on tour with the Springboks here and he confirmed that they are dealing with this matter in a very serious note. Corbus Reinach, uh, the Springbok squad have reported this matter to the local authorities here in France. Corbus Reinach as far as I understand, have had interviews with the French police here and they are now handing this matter over to the police. We've seen Kubas Rannach at the training session, at the captain's run this morning. He looked in, a, in very good shape. He was training well. He had a smile on his face this morning while he was training. But late in the day, assistant coach Mzwandile Stick was, was asked about this very issue and he had to address this issue. Let's just listen to what assistant coach Mzwandile Stick had to say about this very issue and about Kubas Rannach's well-being here in the Springbok squad. Rugby, the security around our hotels, with all the teams that were in the World Cup, the security is, was just another level. So I don't think at the moment there's something to worry about because we are know, we know for sure that we are well protected in our camps. And for Cobus, he's got his family around him and uh, the family has been around. And it's, it's good to see our players also in a good space, you know, when they've got their families around. Yeah, Percy, and hopefully, you know, those perpetrators can be found and be brought to book, you know, because Gorbis Reina has given his all, like you say, to this Montpellier side and also just the people of France have implied his trade there. But now let's talk about the game itself. You know, Brad Dan also just touched about it not too long ago, just about maybe the sense of complacency amongst us as South Africans. I myself am less nervous for this game than I was for that French game. Are South Africans justified in feeling this way, considering that they are up against the team that they beat four years ago in the final? Well, Nsako, if you look at that performance against France, uh, it's understandable why South African supporters, Springbok supporters, even other supporters from other nations believe that the Springboks are the outright favourites heading into this match. In fact, the Springboks are now currently on top of the world rankings, number one on the rankings, uh, forcing Ireland to drop two places to number three and with New Zealand and now in the second place the very New Zealand side they are facing off against Argentina tonight here at this venue like I mentioned earlier today but inside the camp internally Rassi Rasmus Jacques Nineba was very clear they said they're not going to underestimate this English side tomorrow when they face off against Owen Farrell and his side. Sia Colisi also saying as much as they've beaten these, this England side twice in the last four years, they understand the task that lies ahead. They'll have to be at their best if they want to beat Owen Farrell and his side. Steve Borthwick said over the past four years, a number of things have happened. They've appointed a new coach in Steve Borthwick. They've appointed new, they've brought in new younger players into the squad. And Sia Kulisi and Jacques never said it's for that very reason that they can't afford to underestimate that England side. The one word that's been used across this week for the duration in the build-up to this week was the fact that England 
have, will have, bring some serious beef in this match. They they will have a bone to pick with this Springbok sign. But see, Akulisi and Jacques Nineveh says they've prepared, prepared well. And hopefully, they'll come up with a victory tomorrow night here at Stade de France. Yeah, you know, Percy, um, you are in France, but back here at home, there, there, there's a sense of, of anticipation. I think South Africans can already taste the William Webb Ellis Trophy coming back to the country. And just you are there with this team. Do you think that these guys know how important it is for them to keep this campaign going and just how important their campaign is as they are there in France? Um, Mzako, I tend to agree with Brad Dan. There's a bit of nervousness that we are possibly too overconfident ahead of this match because it is a semi-final match. New England is the only unbeaten side in the semi-final, while South Africa lost their group stage match against Ireland. Argentina lost their match against Wales and New Zealand lost their opening match against the host nation France. England is the only unbeaten side and as much as they are fifth on the world rankings, the Springboks say they can't underestimate their opponents tomorrow. But the reality is it's two massive sides facing off tomorrow. Will the Springboks be able to beat the side? That is a question we'll have to wait and see how they get past this English side. They'll have to put up a brave performance if they want to get past this English side because the English, they are flying in supporters for 45 minutes just to travel from England to France. Less than two hours with a ferry across to France here to support. And Rassi Rasmus, Jacques Nibbe, they've already um, accepted the fact that there'll be English fans in their numbers but the supporters, South African supporters, who have made their way to France, to Paris, they will be here and be standing behind the Springboks, hoping for yet another victory against this English side tomorrow. All right, that was ENC Sports reporter Percival Young joining us live from Paris. And hopefully when we do speak to him on Sunday night or Sunday morning, he will have some good news for us from France. And uh, that will be it from the sports desk for now. Brad Dan will be back with you at the top of the hour.